Well, Russia has fired its new experimental missile at Ukraine and Russian President Vladimir Putin has promised more of it. This has escalated an already volatile conflict and sent a chilling warning to Western nations. Our next story explains how the strike marks a dramatic turn in the Russia-Ukraine war. Take a look. The scenes look unreal. Fire raining down from the skies. This is the moment when Russia unleashed its most advanced arsenal over Ukraine. Multiple explosions hit a wide area of Dnipro. Ukraine quickly accused Russia of firing an intercontinental ballistic missile or ICBM, a claim that sent shockwaves through the international community. ICBMs are associated with nuclear warfare and the prospect of their use raised alarm in Western capitals. The Kremlin remained silent initially, fueling speculation. Hello. In Moscow, tensions peaked when the Russian Foreign Ministry spokesperson abruptly refused to comment during a live broadcast, adding another layer to the confusion. European leaders, including the UK and EU, quickly condemned the alleged missile launch as reckless. Across the Atlantic, the US struck a more cautious tone, stating that there was no evidence of an ICBM launch. Confusion deepened and fears mounted that Russia might be preparing for a nuclear escalation. Amid the uncertainty, high-level phone calls between Moscow and Washington attempted to ease tensions. Um, in terms of uh, notifications to the United States, the United States was pre-notified briefly before the launch through nuclear risk reduction channels. Uh, for more, I'd, I'd refer you to state on that. Then President Vladimir Putin entered the picture. In a nationwide address, he revealed that the missile was not an ICBM, but the Oreshnik, which means a hazelnut tree in Russian. Putin's message was a chilling warning to the West. Why without fear? Because there are no means to counteract such weapons today. The missiles attack targets at a speed of 10 marks. This is 2.5 to 3 kilometers per second. The modern air defense systems in the world and the anti-missile defenses created by the Americans in Europe do not intercept such missiles. This is excluded. This warning comes after Ukraine unleashed American Atacams and British Storm Shadow missiles inside Russian territory marking a significant escalation in the conflict. This dual missile strike came after the Biden administration lifted restrictions on Ukraine's use of Western supplied missiles against Russian targets. Experts warn that while the immediate military impact of Russia's new intermediate range missiles might be limited, its symbolic significance cannot be understated. The launch coincides with Russia's revised nuclear doctrine, which many analysts interpret as lowering the threshold for nuclear weapon deployment. Why might you use it therefore? Signaling. Signaling to the Ukrainians, we've got stuff that outranges you, but really signaling to the West, we're happy to enter into a competition around intermediate range ballistic missiles. P.S. These could be nuclear tipped. Do you really want to take that risk? And so there's a degree of, if you like, fear mongering. Clearly, the dangers of miscalculations are growing. Moscow asserts that it is doing everything to avert a nuclear war. The situation underscores the growing unpredictability of the conflict and the fragile balance of global security. Bureau Report, Wion, World is One.